be showing you how to program X Patter for an Xbox 360 controller. Alright, so I will give you a link in the description below. Um, it will take you to this site right here. Uh, pretty simple, just it's pretty self explanatory. Just download. I mean, once you hit download, program will start downloading. Let's wait a couple seconds. Alright, here we go. There it is. Just save the file, but I already have it saved, so I'm not going to right now. Um, and once you download it, you are going to get something like this. And this is XPatter. It's a zip file. Uh, just open it up, take this, slide it out, or you can right click, open, whatever you want to do. But I would prefer dragging it out so you have it on your screen right here. And you open this up. Oh, uh, well, I have a Windows 7, so. This could happen to you if you have Windows 7. Um, you really just need to, it's pretty simple, just go to Troubleshoot Compatibility. Pretty easy to text the issues. Every time that you want to run this, it's pretty good. You don't have to pay for it. It's free. Uh, just Troubleshoot Program. Uh, the program er, the program worked in pre previous versions. Uh, select Windows Vista. It's pretty simple. I worked it with that. Start the program. All right. The background, it has started. There you go. Okay, here it is. Now, I do not have my controller plugged in right this second. I will get that plugged in right now. Alright. Here we go. Now, what you're going to want to do at first, if you have an Xbox 360 controller, you're running, going to want to hit this. You're going to hit New. Alright, this will come up. I have an Afterglow gamepad for the Xbox 360. Um, I got it at GameStop for like $30. Pretty cheap. Alright. You're going to want to go to Sticks. Alright. That's left analog stick. The right. Left. Up. Alright. Left and right analog sticks. Go to the D-pad. Up. Down. Left. Right. Alright. You have your D-pad now. You add buttons, so you gotta add any buttons. So we'll add A, B, X, Y. Start, select the left, right bumper, left bumper. Uh, triggers do not count. You can um, you can tap this. You tap the analog sticks for the button behind there. I'm not exactly sure what that's called. Um, now we go to the triggers. We enable triggers. Left, right. All right, there you go. We have our triggers. Now we're going to go to finish, close. Okay, now once you have all of it worked out to what you want to play, I play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So you're going to want your left bumper if you want to play for Xbox. If you've played Xbox, you're going to want your right left bumper to be your right um, mouse key. And then you're going to want your right trigger to be your left. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. First time ever doing this, so I'm a little tongue tied. Uh, you're going to want it to be your left mouse key. Alright, so it's pretty simple to get that set up. After that, I mean, you go, here's A. Uh, I believe A would be jump. It's pretty simple. Alright, but there's one thing I want to show you guys. For your firing button, which would be the this button, would be your right left mouse trigger, or mouse button, or your right trigger for your Xbox 360 that has been for the computer that you've programmed right now you can add a like if your Xbox 360 if your Xbox 360 controller is rumble effect enabled which most of them are you can just hit that and it will rumble it is very awesome you see the yellow here you see the yellow on the sides that means it will rumble alright guys well I hope to see you soon I probably going to make some commentary with live uh, Modern Warfare 2 videos soon. Alright, I will see you guys later. Bye. Dang it, Towns.